they can do a lot of damage. And if you look at my arm and the damage it was caused, it, it's a real concern. Wendy I'm Royal says her. she was left traumatized uh, after an electric weeks. scooter hit her while she was biking the seawall last March with her nine-year-old granddaughter, Josie. My first reaction was just, I was so grateful that it had actually hit me because she got me at exactly where she could have hit my granddaughter who was right behind me. Royal says she was hit here on the seawall next to the George Wayborn Park. She says the scooter was traveling in the opposite direction when it lost control and crashed into her, leaving her with a serious arm laceration that required a trip to the ER. Where she received almost 25 stitches. It gouged right right down to what looks like bone. It's sort of the covering of the bone, the, the doctor explained to me. My husband took off my coat at home. He found pieces of the flesh attached to the coat. Royal is worried there could be an increase in injuries involving electric devices after the Vancouver Park Board approved an amendment to a bylaw to allow electric scooters and e-bikes on the seawall. I'm really, really concerned about it, as you can imagine from, from my experience. At the time it was illegal, but there was not any signage on the seawall to say that it was illegal. In a statement to City News, the city says in part, quote, all users should be aware that they may be held responsible in case of a collision and should be sure that they have appropriate insurance, often through homeowner or rental insurance policies. The seawall to me should be for recreation. It's full of tourists, it's full of young families with strollers. There are lots of opportunities for e-bike and e-scooters to ride on already bike designated roadways. Royal would also like to see changes to the insurance industry that would require electric scooters and e-bikes to obtain insurance similar to motor vehicles. They should have ICBC insurance because the accidents that they can cause can be very serious. In an email, ICBC confirmed it does not insure electric scooters. However, there are insurance products available from other insurers in BC. But for now, Royal would like the city of Vancouver to increase patrol on the seawall and to make sure riders are following the speed limits. In Vancouver, Angela Bauer, City News.